Hi there. Welcome back for another episode of Colleen Answers Your Question. But he was going to a location where he wasn't allowed to carry his firearm and wondered if I had any tips on ways that he could practice dry fire without his actual weapon. How can you keep your skills up if you're a frequent dry fire practicer if you're in a place where you can't have your actual weapon? It's a great question. And um, it might happen to a lot of people depending on what kind of job you have or just different things that you do throughout your life. You may go to places where you can't have it, uh, even for extended periods of time sometimes. So uh, my first recommendation would be having a blue gun in the make and model of whatever you carry. This blue gun is a full frame 1911. I bought this at the time when I was carrying my you know, Springfield EMP. My EMP is uh, you know, about this length rather than full length. Instead of a five inch barrel, it's a three and a half inch barrel, but, or a three inch barrel even. But I can do all of the same practicing. I can do all the same you know, practicing driving it forward and getting my sight picture. I can even put it in a holster and draw. I won't be able to press the trigger because it's just a chunk of plastic. It doesn't have a moving trigger but uh, I can still go through all the motions of drawing with this and keep keep the muscles going okay keep the muscle memory going some people say there's no such thing as muscle memory uh, your muscles definitely or your brain memorizes what your muscles are doing however you want to word that uh, another thing that you can do I don't know if you'd be allowed but you could try uh, doing airsoft Maybe if you, you couldn't get a gun, you couldn't take an airsoft either. Probably not. Um, but that, that's something to consider. But I would say this would be a great option. There is something called a trigger trainer. I actually own one. It's not with me right now. I have found I have three different triggers for it. And none of them feel like the triggers on my guns, per se. But there is a heavy, medium, and light trigger. And it gives you the grip frame, the trigger guard, and the trigger to work with. There are no sights on the top. Uh, it's just the grip portion and the trigger and the trigger guard portion. So if you wanted to practice smooth trigger pull and trigger release, you could do that with a trigger trainer. Uh, and it does not look like a gun. All it looks like is the stock portion plus the trigger. So that might be an option for you. I'll put a link in the description below for trigger trainer if you want to look that up. Also, I have an old video on the trigger trainer. Back when I first ordered mine, I did a little review of it, a mini review. Uh, just my first impressions of it. If you want to look that up, I can also tag you to that video here if you want to check that out. That'll help you out a little bit. So I hope I answered that question. And if anyone else has things that they've done in this kind of situation, please comment below and let us know. Okay? If you have questions for this series, please leave them below. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.